What's up guys, Greeny and Fi, and today we're gonna make a video that we've been talking about making for a while. We've been together now six months, and uh, every time she tells me one of her crazy superstitions or Thai faux pas, I've been, I've been compiling a list. And uh, I figured I got enough now to share them with you. It's like she has them all in her head, but <laughs> until something comes up that we see something or some situation that she says, you know, you know what that means, and so, so I made a list of the top 10 that uh, we've talked about and then a bonus number 11 because we just had a situation happen the other day that just popped up actually uh, two days ago. So okay, let's, let's get into it. Yeah. Stick around for number 10, our last one on the list, because this is something that I get yelled at for every night. Just about every night I get yelled at for violating this faux pas. And it's not my faux pas, it's a Thai or Buddhist faux pas, but I get yelled at every night about this one. So stick around to the end and we'll let you guys know what that one is. All right, so you guys notice we're sitting here on the floor, pillow talk, you know. This is uh, for our resume for our application for 90 Day Fiance. What the fee? <laughs> pillow talk, see, okay. I'm sitting sitting back on a pillow. But, uh, all right, so the most recent one, um, that's a joke, guys, we, we haven't applied for that. But um, she just likes sitting on the floor. So the most recent one is we found two lizards in the, uh, in the shower, and uh, we, we got rid of them. One I picked up by the tail, and actually, it, like, the tail came right off. Like, it, it made the tail come off. It was so <laughs> weird. And uh, she said if, it, if a lizard poops on you, it's, it's good luck. Or then you said if a bird poops on your head, what, it, what is uh, it? I'm Get sure it straight. about the bird. If the bird poops on your head, that means you lucky. Okay. Because, like, you look outside. Like, they can fight everywhere. But there's a chip poop on you. What about if you're in the bird house at the zoo? <laughs> Does that count? It's later now. There's not the zoo. All right, well, I worked in the zoo, you know, and the bird shit on me in the birdhouse one time. I was standing there and... Uh, so how long does the luck extend to? Like forever or a week or? I don't long? know. I don't know. It's just something that they just put it up. I don't even know this is real or not. But yeah, they put it in my brain when I'm young. And yeah, yeah, we have to believe it. All right. And then so another thing, this is kind of something that you see or whatever. But the reason why it came up is I went to the bathroom in a restaurant and I stuck my chopsticks into my rice and they were sticking up and I got yelled at for that. So what 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 that what does that mean when you It's what? me. It's not good about Thai people they believe like um when when they have a temple festival that you can go to temple and give the monk give monk the food. It's like tambun and then you give them the food. It's, yeah, but the little offerings you see everywhere, thing, you're talking about the yeah, sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing is going to go to someone that already passed away. So if right? you put it in yours, it's, that's bad luck for you or what? Yeah, it means we, we give it for spirit, some, some spirit. Like, we, 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 we're not going to put the chopstick like that. We're going to keep it up if you don't eat it no more. Okay. And then the same thing with, you see the red pop, the Fanta they use, it's red pop, and, and they put that out in the offerings. They, they, they used to use blood. That, that's a sacrifice for the spirits. And uh, now they just use red pop. So, you know, you know, I guess people used to go missing or something. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably not. Just no, because some, I don't know. Was it it's people's like, blood some or, no, no, some or animal blood like, they used to use? Some spirit like to drink. Sweet stuff. A maybe. pop. A, 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 yeah, a but it used pop. to be, it was for blood. It signifies blood. What, did they kill people for it? Or was mm -hmm, it, uh, but it like, like animal blood? We, be, uh... The cow. The cow milk. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. So if you sing while you're cooking, what does that mean? <laughs> this happens. You you're going to get um, old husband or <laughs> old boyfriend, like old. old. It's just that older, but old. So that you sing a lot in the kitchen, huh? Uh, yeah, I sing. A, I sing. You probably did it on purpose. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how. I really don't know how. I just singing. How am I gonna get the old husband? But but worked out for you. <laughs> so the next yeah. one, and I don't even. There might be some science behind this one. If you wear a hat in the house, it's nothing bad. You're gonna turn bald. Just sit. 
Okay. Yeah. But I mean, the science I've heard before, I don't know if that's true or not. If you just wear a hat too much, you, you know, it could affect your, your hair follicles and your hair and you might lose your hair. I don't, I think it's hereditary or whatever. I don't think it has anything to do with that. But I guess if you're wearing a hat in the house, you probably wear it outside and you're probably wearing a hat all the time. So. It's just like you said, get some relax. All right. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is, and this could work out pretty good for us because uh, what was happening the day when we went to the land office and closed on this property? What was happening from the sky that day, you remember? It's rain. Yeah, so it's what does rain. that mean if you buy a property, you buy a house yeah, yeah. when it's raining or a it's condo? It's when you're moving in and it's like, it's cold. It's been like, oh, okay, the God know you buy the house, he know that he's gonna like protect you, he's gonna make your house it's like cold and easy to live and fine, it's not fighting, it's not hot. So a cold house is better than a hot house? It's like better, a cooler house, it's like a good yeah, breeze? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I guess it just keeps tempers down because uh, the house is cooler. And so if it's raining, when you do that, that, that that's a good thing. Yeah. Now how about this one? This one kind of freaked me out a little bit. If you have a dream that a loved one dies in your dream, that's actually good luck, right? Is that... Yeah, it is. I I don't know, but yeah, my my family, my grandma or my uncle, my aunt, they told me a lot about this stuff. If you're dreaming about someone in your family or someone to part away, you should make them make them live longer. I already dream about myself part away. <laughs> That's so weird. Like I'm screaming, I call everybody, but nobody hear me. That is my dream. I think everybody has a dream. And then I, I dream about about someone in my family twice. You ever I'm dream? happy for that. Like yeah, okay, I meet them like, live but do you, longer. Do you ever have the dream like where you go to school and then you realize you don't have any clothes on? You never had that dream? Uh -uh. What does that mean? I don't know. I dream is. about, okay, a lot of people I want to go dream. to the toilet, I but know. I didn't go. And then pee in the bed. You pee in the bed? <laughs> what the I just seemed like, oh, I'm going to go to the toilet. And, <laughs> and then I wake up because, like, what the shit? What about if you dream about snakes? This is a, another one. <sighs> snake. Thai people believe if you're dreaming about snake, come to you and just, just Oh, you tight. That means your soulmate coming. Yeah. You ever dream about snakes? Mm, I dream about snake, but they didn't come to me. I just killed them. At X. Die. I, I, I better keep a close watch <laughs> on my snake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said like. Thai women like to kill the snakes. So. <laughs> <laughs> what about if you dream about losing a tooth? Oh yeah, that's important. Not important. That that. <laughs> that's a scary one. <laughs> that's scary. About the tooth on top or on the bottom. It's well, different. Tell them. It's like I'm I, I'm 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 not sure about um. On top or on the bottom is daddy or mommy, but it's gonna be someone in your family, will be part away if you dream about you losing your tooth. There's someone in your family. You have to look look out for that. You have to be like, that is not a good dream at all. I've never thought about having a dream about a tooth. If you guys can see a pattern here, a lot of these things have to do with uh, your dreams and uh, you know figuring out, deciphering what, what dreams mean. And uh, so another one, what about if you dream about a black spider? A black spider. That means you, you're going to get some lucky thing. But you have to be careful about someone that's cruel to you, think something bad about you. They're going to hurt you or they're going to do something behind you. Stab you in the back? So you dream about a black spider, somebody you know might be yeah. doing something to you behind your back or talking yeah, about you Yeah, yeah, maybe it's a talking bad about you. Yeah, I just dream about that, but I am i didn't care what they say or who say can't control people mouse, anyway. <laughs> okay, so getting it to the last one, and like I said, this is the one I always get yelled at. I get yelled about this one is 
S whistling at night. Yeah, don't. <laughs> someone gonna know. I think someone know about this. Like, don't do that because it seems like you are calling some ghost to follow you. They have literally. It's it's not only this thing. It's like too many things. It seems like oh, if you go to the temple, and when you go back to your car, don't tell your friend to hey, come in the car. What? Because it's not gonna be only your friend that come back to with you. It's gonna be like some spirit. If you say, "Hey, get in the car loud at, at yeah, night yeah, or anytime." Yeah. yeah, anytime. Okay, how did they get from whistling? But what about if you're whistling at night? Whistling at night is is you call some spirit. Call some. I'm calling spirits. So whistling yeah. at night means calling spirits. Yeah, that's why. And I, I get yelled like, at <laughs> on a nightly basis because I don't know. I just don't. I just say don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, maybe, yeah, it's how, like... How many days a week you think you yell at me for whistling at night? Too many. Too many. And how many spirits have we met, like, from whistling at night? I don't know. Maybe they just, like, stand and look at you when you're sleeping. You never know that, right? But Thai people and Falang people, we have something that we believe is... I believe in this, you believe in this, we're not the same thing. Like, it's, kind, it's not the culture, but just something that they make it up. Make it up. Yeah, it, faux pas. Yeah, different things. Let me try to think. What from my childhood? I I should have thought about this ahead of time. Like, what things, you know, w would be bad luck? I don't know. I guess they say in America, you know, like if a black cat crosses in front of you or. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing I hear about it. It you just walking, and the black cat just run in front of you. You have to look like you in spit? the right side. Yeah. Is that a Thai your, thing or? No, it's not a Thai thing. It's, it's not a Thai thing. Just some like some Falang friend told me. What and about? I don't know is it true, is true or not, but I always like, okay, I have to do that then. And then I think one of ours is like, if you break a mirror, it's seven years of bad luck. You ever heard of that one? A mirror? Yeah, if you break a mirror, it's seven years of bad luck. Mm, no, it's that Thai people believe if you have something broken, like a grass, or a miller or something, you have to throw it out the house. You cannot keep it in the house because your relationship is going to broke it, like in your family. I, I don't know. That's just some mm -hmm. kind of we believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my kid, uh, one of them, uh, the younger one, he uh, freaks out if, if like you have the volume or anything on an odd number, like in the car, if the volume's on three, he freaks out. It's got to be on two or four. Why? I don't know. He thinks it's bad luck. <laughs> okay. We then, have you know, many in America, things. many buildings in America, there's no 13th floor. You go from 12 to uh, 14, there's no 13. Oh, yeah. Did you know that? It's 13. Yeah, I hear about that some, time, some too. And it's, like, it's not a lucky number, right? It's yeah, 13 unlucky. is a bad number. Like, Friday the 13th is very unlucky. Yeah, so yeah, I guess yeah. we do have, we, it's not just Thai people or Buddhists. We got our superstitions, too. And one thing more about, if you have a white hair coming up, like me, if I, I have one white hair coming up, I'm not going to take it out. It's mean like someone in my family that already passed away, they're still with me, protect me. What well, if you have a lot of white hairs? <laughs> not like that. I don't know. Yeah, what we believe something in, like, I don't know. It's too many things that I, I don't know, I forget it. Don't clean the house, like, don't clean the house in the nighttime because your money going to be out, 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 out. Well, then you're not going to have any money at all because you don't clean, period. I, I can have a lot of money then. I never clean. <laughs> no, you should clean during the day. You should be cleaning right now. What are you doing? Get off your ass and start cleaning, woman. <gasps> if someone call your name at the night, it's like, Brian, like that. You don't say what or what's up. Don't just say anything. Don't say anything back. Won't that be rude? It mean, it's not rude. It's that like some spirit call you. They're you hear it? To... You mean if you hear somebody call you and nobody's around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't say anything back. Just act like I don't hear shit. I don't hear that. Whoa, no. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, 
hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, our first episode of uh, throw pillow time. What? Well, because <laughs> I, I, I'm sure there's already a copyright on pillow time, so we can. These are throw pillows. It could be throw pillow time. And one more thing, if you're driving in the night time, like you're driving out to somewhere, and you see someone stand in the night with like in the middle of nowhere, like it's it's not possible that someone gonna stand there, and they just call you like. Don't stop the car or don't say like, fuck, do you see that? Just keep driving quiet. Especially if they're like wearing a hockey mask. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you guys know any superstitions from any ear countries, let us know in the comments. I'm sure people are interested in reading about these type of things. I find some of these just fascinating and bizarre. But... Uh, Good times, good times. I'm learning so much over here. I think you still have a lot more, but yeah, let me think about it. Oh, a lot more for me to learn or a lot more faux pas? For you to learn for him, I mean for him. I have, have about a lot more for me to, to tell him. About Thai it, culture or about time. this? About Thai culture. It's like, oh, this thing you can't do, this thing you're not, you're not supposed to do. Or like, oh, don't do that. It's not nice. Or, yeah, I gotta yeah. teach him like slowly. Okay. All right. See you guys later. Greeny out. Bye out.